Hello and welcome to the class on moments, skewness and kurtosis. The characteristics of the given distribution cannot only be described with the help of measures of central tendency or the measures of dispersion but also with the help of moments, skewness and the kurtosis. Moments are the set of statistical parameters which are used to measure a distribution. First moment is the mean which describes the central value. Second moment is the variance which describes the dispersion. Third moment is skewness which describes the asymmetry of the distribution. And fourth moment is the kurtosis which describes the pickedness of the given distribution. The first moment is denoted with the symbol mu1, the second with mu2, third with mu3 and fourth with mu4. The measure of central tendency and the measure of dispersion describes the central value and the extent of the scatter of the given dataset. The given dataset is expressed with arithmetic mean plus or minus standard deviation. Now, two datasets or two different distributions may have the same mean and the same standard deviation, yet they can be different from one another. One dataset may be symmetrical, the other dataset may be asymmetrical. Skewness describes the extent of asymmetry of a distribution. For example, if there are two datasets and if we calculate the arithmetic mean and the standard deviation, both these datasets will have 15 plus or minus 6.02 as their arithmetic mean and standard deviations. But we can observe that the distribution of frequencies in these two datasets is different from one another. If we plot the frequency curves, the shape of the frequency curves of these two datasets will be different from one another. We studied the properties of symmetrical distribution, where the values equidistant from the mode have equal frequencies. Mean, median and mode coincides. Median is halfway between lower and upper quartile. Sum of the positive deviations from the median will be equal to the sum of the negative deviations from the median. The frequency curve will be perfectly bell shaped. If we plot a frequency curve of the given data, we are likely to observe a symmetrical distribution. If the distribution is not symmetrical, it will have a skewed frequency curve. The skewness may be positive skewness or negative skewness. In case of positively skewed distribution, more observations will be observed on the right side of the highest ordinate that is mode. Mean will be greater than the median which will be greater than the mode. The frequency curve has a steep rise and a slow fall with a long tail on the right. For example, the given data produces a typical positively skewed distribution where arithmetic mean is higher than the median and the mode. In negatively skewed distribution, we observe more observations on the left side of the highest ordinate. Here, mean will be smaller than the median and the mode. The frequency curve has a slow rise and a deep fall with a long tail on its left. For example, the given data produces typical negatively skewed distribution where arithmetic mean will be small as compared to the median and as compared to the mode. The mean, the median and the mode of these datasets were calculated with the given formulas. If the distribution is skewed then the mean minus mode will be equal to 3 into mean minus median. The frequency curve is not perfectly bell-shaped. It will be either tailed on the right or it will be tailed on the left. The values equidistant from the mode will not have equal frequencies. The measure of skewness is the Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. 
For unimodal distribution, the formula mean minus mode divided by standard deviation is used, whereas for bimodal or multimodal distribution, the formula is 3 into mean minus median divided by standard deviation. Two or more distributions may be symmetrical. However, they may differ in the extent of the concentration of observations around the mean. For example, the given three data sets. If we plot the frequency curves of first data set, it appears symmetrical. The frequency curve of the second data set exhibits higher concentration of observations close to the mean, whereas the frequency curve of the third data set displays even distribution of the observations. The flatness or peakedness of a frequency curve is described by a measure known as kurtosis. The curve that is normal bell shaped is known as mesocurtic. A curve that is flat is known as platycurtic and a curve that is peaked is known as a leptocurtic curve. This is a mesocurtic frequency curve, platycurtic frequency curve and leptocurtic frequency curve. In case of mesocurtic curve, we observe a normal curve, whereas in case of platycurtic curve, we observe flat and spread out structure of the given curve and the leptocurtic curve appears to be high and thin. The measure of kurtosis is coefficient of kurtosis beta 2 which is obtained with the formula fourth moment divided by square of the second moment. If beta 2 is equal to 3 the frequency curve will be mesocurtic. If beta 2 will be greater than 3 the frequency curve will be leptocurtic and if beta 2 is less than 3 the frequency curve will be platycurtic. Thank you.